Dan Crenshaw's recent comments to the Department of Justice and Attorney General Merrick Garland have struck a chord, highlighting critical issues of justice, government accountability, and the protection of constitutional rights. Uh, thank you, Anna, for, for doing this. Thank you for pulling us all together and uh, addressing this important issue. The sad legacy of the Biden administration will be its lawlessness, weaponizing government against its political enemies, using its power to protect itself, undermining the law for cynical politics. This administration has repeatedly circumvented the law, granting executive amnesty last week to around 500,000 aliens, stopping federally funded construction of the border wall, paroling millions of migrants into the country outside the perimeter set by the Congress, which has killed Americans nationwide, most recently in my, home, my hometown of Houston. Hanging over the entirety of this administration is the fact that the president's son used his access to his father and his father's offices to enrich himself through foreign business dealings and artwork, where one buyer of Hunter's art was appointed to a U.S. government commission. While the Biden administration shields its own, it also targets regular Americans it dislikes. Gun owners with its unconstitutional ATF rules, parents at school board meetings labeled as threats by the FBI, and censorship of inconvenient information. This brings us here today. Congress performing its oversight duties has been ignored. Founders established a system of checks and balances, and that has been dismissed. Congress and the American people we represent have been disrespected, so we are here to say no more. Will not stand by while the DOJ covers up information subpoenaed by Congress and refuses to comply with our vote, holding the AG in contempt. It is not that the DOJ cannot prosecute Garland. It is that they're choosing not to because they wish to protect the president and his obedient lackey. And I understand that this sounds extreme. It sounds extreme to, to put the AG in handcuffs and drag him in here. And I'm here. I'll tell you why I'm here. What motivates me? Because what the DOJ is doing in my hometown in Houston. They're willing to arrest a regular citizen, put them in handcuffs, charge them with ridiculous crimes. And for what? Because that particular citizen, a man named Dr. Heim, decided to expose a crime in Texas. That crime was performing harmful gender transition practices on minors. He was indicted for alleged HIPAA violations. And this demonstrates America, Merrick Garland and his, this DOJ's determination to target whistleblowers who oppose their ideology. They want to protect themselves, but they want to attack regular citizens. They aim to use the full force of our legal system to protect their allies and silence dissent. And we can't handle that double standard. This new motion to hold Merrick Garland is the next natural step to rebuff the Biden administration's attempt to run roughshod over our constitutional system. Thank you. I Crenshaw's critique of the Justice Department's alleged cover-ups and the congressional recall silence resonates strongly with those who believe the Biden administration has weaponized government agencies against political opponents. The suggestion is clear. This administration is accused of protecting its own interests at the expense of transparency and accountability, upholding the rule of law and holding government officials, including the attorney general, accountable for their actions is paramount. Crenshaw's remarks emphasize the necessity of genuine and responsible governance that respects the principles of justice and transparency. His stance is a call for authenticity, individual responsibility, and ethical government actions. His emphasis on the role of Congress in maintaining checks and balances within the government underscores the importance of preserving the integrity of democratic institutions. Crenshaw's demand for accountability from Merrick Garland regarding the alleged weaponization of the Justice Department highlights the impact of excessive government authority and lack of responsibility on the public's collective spirit. His call resonates with citizens' desire for empowerment and confidence in the legislative process, reflecting their deep-seated demand for justice and fairness. The public's reaction to Crenshaw's comments is significant, affecting the political landscape. His call for Garland to comply with the subpoena underscores the need for transparency and accountability within the government. The effectiveness of Congress's efforts to enforce its investigative powers is critical. If these efforts are perceived as partisan or inefficient, the potential consequences for democratic governance are profound. In sum, Dan Crenshaw's impassioned plea for justice and accountability speaks to the heart of democratic values, echoing the public's desire for a government that truly serves its people with integrity and fairness.